Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta Crown of the Magister. Last time we had a fight with some of the worst rolls I've ever seen, but we are alive and that's the really important part. Because we're on Iron Man and if we die, we game over, then we lose our save file, we have to go right back to the beginning and I don't want that. So we're going to press on with slightly more HP, a few more spells. No increased stats yet, but that will come at level 4. For now, though, we've just got to parkour our way through here. Nothing extra that I want, so we can just tell them to run over to the other side here, and we'll spend a small age tripping over because we're not very athletic. Pay some point. They're going to go all around the houses to whichever way they think yep I'm going to climb that particular piece of wall and then where do we go from here this way now I don't we survive this I might just drink myself to death good for you not really ancient library is terrifying mushrooms are not terrifying There's that, so is this actually an ancient library or is this just this area? Because I know there's a library coming up, which I'm not a huge fan of. Good job with your athletics check. Cash, 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 flower, rapier, food. Can you make this one? Well, we can do this and push this one down, but we're going to need some other way of climbing over. We did just take spider climb, but I don't think spider climb will get us over this section of wall, unfortunately. So that treasure will be left behind for today. Maybe we'll come back with Misty Step or Fly or similar. Now, where does that kick us out? We're safe. We still have to go back to Kerr Kiflin. The road isn't far. I suppose we'll meet again in Kerr Kiflin. Are you good to return by yourselves? Aye. Of course. The said objective failed. What failed objective did I get? It's the wrong button. Right, journal. Completed quests. No failed quests. Visit the magic shop. Report to Annie. Return to Kerkaflin. Alright then. So, Kerkaflin. This is why we took a long rest largely, because there's every chance that we would be attacked here on the road and if we were still tired from that previous fight then oh boy I would not be ready to have fisticuffs with another foe but we get through the night find some ingredients we should look to getting some crafting going at the next convenience because every extra healing potion and scroll and arrow will be valuable but we make it to town. We made it. Those are just the standard guards. Let's go and see Annie. Hello, Annie. You're back. How did it go? Awful. Well, oh, you might have. I see. Well, you're welcome. All right. Our report is done there. Can't check the board yet. That's fine. We were also told to go and see Hugo, the magic man. Hello. Uh, what do you sell? What? Most I and come back. Show me what you sell. That's easier. So we've got various potions, except we need a higher score with the Principality of Mad Mazgarth to buy a bunch of this stuff. 
But there's focuses and spell books and recipes and stuff. We actually have an extra recipe for crafting manual scroll of cure wounds. So we can sell that. And if let's go over to the other side here, because we've got like 400 extra swords and things that we don't need now. So we can get rid of heaps of that stuff. Right, so great sword we're not holding on to. All of that can go. A couple of short bows. I'll keep a long bow or two. All of this extra armor we don't need to hold on to. Right, that's 132 golds worth. Uh, we'll keep our spear. Sell that scimitar. Oh, insufficient value to get rid of a stick. I'm shocked. I don't even know if our bard... Bella is not proficient with shields. All right, then. The bard arm is so pretty, though. I want to keep it, even though it's, like, totally useless if I'm wearing other clothes. All right. Good stuff. Where are we going? Meet with Karen at the Gravekeep's Cask. Well, that would be this tavern right here. Hello, Lord. Oh, here you are. How was the mission? We must report to the Council immediately. Of course. I'll inform the Council that you've returned. When can we hope for an audience? It depends. Tomorrow, if you're lucky. Another party came back yesterday, and they still have to make their report. So maybe they'll see you both at once. We have urgent news. The outpost at Kerlem has been attacked. Almost by all meet I'll All right. Get me to the big meeting. The Legacy Council is now in session. Captain Merrin has the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, your royal highness, my party and I have made a very worrying discovery in the Badlands, near the place we call Black Hill. We saw a group that we took to be scavengers. They attacked us right away, but we were able to fight them off. They were trying to get away with this. What is it? This box contains a gem. A ruby, it appears. We have determined that it has magical properties, and we believe the Council should examine it. So we will, Captain. But really, is that all? You called an emergency meeting of the Council for a simple magical gem? Her Royal Highness has a busy schedule. Please, Lord Denantar. In this chamber, I'm just a student of magic. Here, here. Anyway, Captain. The council has a great deal of business. They were Sorax, our attackers. Not scavengers, not bandits. Sorax. Hmm. We saw them too. Sorax? Is this a joke? The Sor Akath are no laughing matter, Lord Fasek. Oh, you know what I mean. What do you mean, my lord? How many times has the council heard tales of these so-called Sorax? At least 20, I'd say. More. 23. Yes, more each year. It's becoming a fad. Our church has been warning of the Sor Akath since humans first came to Celasta, in the wake of their foul god, Sortar. I'm sorry, Captain, but you are certain that you encountered Sorax? It's true! They're real! What? And who might you be? Some new recruits, my lord. They were sworn in quite recently. New recruits, eh? They place too much stock in rumor, it seems. They assure me that they saw Sorax as well. Wait, do you realize how serious this is? Yeah, why didn't we bring back a head when we had the chance? They attacked Kerlem. They attacked the Kerlem outpost. The garrison suffered severe losses. Kerlem? The outpost in the marches? What do you mean by heavy losses? The Sorax took over Captain Henrik, and only two of them are still alive. They can testify too. Do you have any material proof of their existence? I beg your pardon? Like what? 
well, a dead body, for example? Or even just a head? If we go to Ker Lem, will we find the bodies of these Sorax? Probably not. They took their dead with them when they retreated. The bodies of their victims, too. Hmm, how very convenient. So you can offer us no proof of this adventurer's fable. And what if proof were to be brought before the council? Yeah, then what? what? Proof? How? If the Sorax take away their fallen, as they say, that's not our problem. Let them find a way. These are new recruits, correct? Then let this be their new mission. Bring us the head of a Sorak for the whole council to see. That would certainly be proof, Lord Facek, would it not? Oh, very well. Meanwhile, the council will examine the gem. Uh, if there is nothing else... Dean Ayala Facek of the Tower of Knowledge calls for a recess. Does any member object? All right then, so we're no? going to go get ahead then. It is resolved then. That actually went better than I expected. We had to stand by. We had to stand by, Meron. We know she speaks the truth. I'm sure she will appreciate your support anyway. Some people might want to talk to you after this. Working for the council, you are expected to be neutral. But? But you have the right to have friends. So, feel free to talk to whoever you like, as long as your allegiance remains to the council as a whole. All right, then. Hey, deputies. Thanks for the support in there. You're welcome, Captain. So those bastards got Henrik. Shame. You knew him? Yes, indeed. I wonder who'll volunteer to retake KLM now. The scavengers could lead the way. Yes, they'll find a bunch of hotheads to retake the fort, I'm sure. Stay in the light, friends. You too. All right. New business. Talk to Annie about claiming KLM. Find Robar, ask him if he knows anything. Take a look around Sunblaze Court. Find Beryl and ask her if she knows anything. Take her around the Snow Alliance Embassy. Alright, some time to stretch our legs then. There's a bush over here. We can get some violet leaves for crafting. Speaking of which, anything we can make yet. We can make a healing potion. Scroll of magic missiles. Healing Potion, Scroll of Magic Missiles. Well, you get working on that. And who's got better checks? Everyone's just a plus one, so you can get started on one of those for me. And we get five Angry Violet Leaves for other things. Who are you? Beryl? All right. We need to be here anyway. Well, if it isn't our brave saviors. Good day, Lieutenant. I'm no longer a Lieutenant. I resigned my commission. I work for my people now. I will never step foot in the Badlands again. Yes, well, you clearly weren't cut out for that posting. What did? I've made my peace. But you aren't here to check on my welfare, are you? No. We seek information. Before the attack, where exactly did your scout venture? You mean, Daliot? Right. Daliot. Where did he go before the Sorax attacked? As far as I know, there's not a name for this place or road that leads there. But I can show you on the map. It's near the ruins of an ancient tower. Thank you, Beryl. We appreciate the help. What are you thanking me for? Sending you to your death? Fingers crossed not. Travel to the ancient tower. New destination available. Right. Um, we were supposed to speak to somebody at the Sunbase Court, weren't we? Oh, there he is. Robar Sharp. Is that what we're after? Do, 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 do. No? Uh, talk to Beryl. Talk to Annie. All right. Talk to one of the survivors. Okay. Well, one is sufficient then. 
Let's go see Annie down the way. Can we fast travel? Zoom. If you run into something that would otherwise interrupt you on your travels, it will stop Hello, your fast Annie. travel. We wanted to talk about Kerlem. I'm all ears. No one's there anymore. Ah, you want to claim the place. How does it work again? We go there and scavenge everything you didn't take. Then you get a percentage. We can't promise you it's safe. <laughs> it never is. Once we get there, we'll set up an outpost of our own. I'll check with the council first, but thanks anyway. What do we do next? Once we've done our work, I'll let you know. You'll just have to come by and collect your share. Six days remaining. All right, we're making friends. Quests complete. Reputation with scavengers. Travel to the ancient tower. You've learned that the scouts from Kerl and Garrison were exploring around an ancient tower. Its location is now in your map. Go there and investigate. Find a Sorak. Bring its head back to the council as proof they really exist. All right, I expect we can do that. We're not going to be able to afford any upgraded gear or anything really particular yet, so we'll just get straight out on while the daylight is here. Possible Sorak base. All right, we have 30 food. This is four days of travel at a normal pace. Six at a long pace. All right, we'll go normal. That'll be 16 days worth of food. Now we play the... Are we going to have a random encounter game? Yes, we are. It's a dire wolf and three regular wolves. I think we'll manage. Let's get wolfy with it. As ever, we know we will be fully resting after this, so we don't have to hold back on our spells and the like. Uh, sure, we'll start with this. Alright, that's a dead wolf. That is not. Where are you going, Dire Wolf? Alright, so they're attacking with advantage with pack tactics, I presume. Flaming Sphere. Summon a movable burning sphere. Well, that's fun. Let's go with a little extra shattering. Get all three. Arcana, Evo, Very nice. Even if they did succeed, nine damage is not bad going. We do get crit slightly. But you know, when in doubt, just keep shattering. more and more and more shatter and some inspiration to boot another victory this is destiny all right let's stop concentrating on this flaming sphere before we do ourselves a mischief pelts yes to pelts and back to sleep. Back on the road, as ever. I expect... Hey, Scroll of Magic Missiles is done. I expect us to not have a second encounter along the way, but we'll see. Potion of Healing is done as well.
All right, we don't have any Galavan Amaranth anymore. So, just going to have to march along. Waltzing straight, actually. Abort travel at next location. There's something I would like to do here. Right, we're down at the bottom again, but last time, on our way up, we learned of this little cavern over here. And now that we're a little bit stronger and a little bit tougher and a little bit healthier, I think we could consider hopping on in here just to hunt down whatever's inside, get ourselves more XP, maybe a little bit of loot, you know, the classics. Uh, ah, you know, I do regret not getting more bolts while we had a chance for shopping. Ah, we're actually fine. We'll be okay for a while. Right, everybody, get cautious. Spot those tracks. Lair of filth. Clear the goblin cave. I'll do my best. Fingers crossed we don't get absolutely destroyed along the way. Damn, it stinks. We should be cautious from now on. Yeah, you shouldn't be shouting about how stinky it is in here. How about that? Just keep creeping, just keep creeping. Look for baddies that we will kill. Who we gonna kill? Is it gonna be you? Don't like the low sight lines through here. Still don't see anyone. There's a skirmisher way up top. We know how much health you have these days? No. No knowledge on you yet. No simple way to climb up here, unfortunately. Got to be more of them. Right, someone was attempting to see us in that direction. We could try and push in from the back half of things. Oh god, no, we're fine, we're fine. We squeeze through here, we can. There's a goblin. Love that we can squeeze through there as well. Another container. How can we get around this back end? Yes. Good. I like this. Now, obviously, we don't have a rogue's sneak attack. Unfortunately. Ah, damn. Yep, I biffed it. I'm really bad at that bit. It's probably because he's got loud armor on, not doing me any favors. Once more, we prevail. Love to see it. Right, there's one up here, but they're going to be real tough to reach, aren't they? Alright, we're just going to move over as best and fast as we can. 
Only four more to get, and one of them only has seven HP. That's going to make our lives a lot easier. Oh, we have line of sight on someone from here. You up there. I reckon we can make that shot. Correct. Still hidden. Love to see it. Oh, we're just carving through this lot. No attacks there. Nor there. Could be. Clean sweep. I should have smited. And there goes the clean sweep, huh? Have I given up an angle on the one above? I have not. We still have advantage. That's a great death rattle. What a noise. Alright, still hidden then. We can actually just attack here with advantage and almost certainly be fine. Almost. Yeah. Alright, some light XP. Go and collect all the gubbins. Give me this satchel and then we'll go to the higher up stuff. Going to continue just grabbing everything that we might be able to sell later because... Eventually, we're going to want some kind of powerful magic item, and the difference of two or three hundred gold could make it. Uh, Scroll of Cure Wounds is not a bad one to have as well. And then it's just this one over here. And some guy's stuff there as well, so... You guys can check that one. Don't need to be cautious anymore. Grab all of that. Grab some of this. A notebook page. A scroll of sleep. Notebook page. Something is wrong with the captain. I told the lieutenant, but she didn't listen. She can't believe Henrik would be wrong about anything. I may have to confront him myself. That sounds related to the bit of plot that we were just doing, doesn't it? All right, gather everyone up. Cautious, uncautious. Back to the doorway. Super. Right, from here we can actually, probably, fast travel up here. Just check in on the folks up here. Bertram is running... The scavengers up here, I believe. Clear skies, friend. Clear skies, deputies. Um, how is business up here? How's business been since we cleaned up the place? Not bad. Some folks are starting to explore a little further. Though this Sorak attack still has people nervous. Still, there's been no sign of them since. So, we mostly pretend it didn't happen. Huh, good for you. Right, so I'm guessing the board's not going to be any good to us right now. Ongoing three hours, three days remaining. And I don't think we have quests here. We could get some bolts. I shall do that. Is that our javelin that we threw a couple of episodes ago? Looks like it is. I would be grateful to retrieve it. 
Nice. And general adventuring supplies. Bolts. Darts is not what I want. Restorative ointment. Heal self, one charge, two D8 plus two healing, removes all occurrences of poisoned and diseased. Interesting, very expensive. Potion of flying, scroll of fly. Going to be important in this location later. Uh, bolts. That'll be plenty, I'm sure. And we'll be on our way. So, back to the main entrance, or exit. That gets us directly back to the map, because it was a small doorway symbol on the fast travel. Now we can head to the possible Sorak base. Oh, five scouts and four wolves, and we're surprised. Lucky us. Alright, they're going to get to close in on us, and if they have a lot of ranged attacks... That could be a problem. Right. Hopefully their aim just continues to be this bad. The worst part about encounters like this is that we didn't get a chance to cast Mage Armor before all of this happens. And we can't have it kind of automatically cast at the start of the day. So, we're going to need to focus on these wolves because they'll be attacking with advantage with pack tactics while stood next to one another. This one's probably going to fill that gap. Yes. And the last scout. Alright, well, two nat ones on a round of scouts. Can't be too bad. Jeez, leave Evelyn alone. Okay. Start with a shatter, obviously. Didn't get me. Right. Two dead, one nearly dead. What we like to see. Let's dole out some bardic inspiration. Maestro. You're still in the fight, my friend. All right, this is going to be a problem. This is only the first round. Those two are not going to be close enough for magic missiling. We could deal with these two with Shatter and... Or we could even... No, we're in the wrong... Mm. We stand here. Excuse me. We can Thunder Wave. Those two. Arcana, Evo, Malmus. Impressive move, my friend. All right, that other wolf very nearly dead. I'm going to move in this direction away from the majority so they have to move closer to us. Oh dear. You're still standing. Good grief. That happened really fast. All right. Lay on hands for like 13. God. Can we please start killing these scouts now? I mean, we do also need to kill this wolf, but... Come 
great big pile of nope. I will shield myself. Not going to do him any good. Right. We are going to second level magic missile. You can lose one. And you can just get slammed into. Alright, it looks like the scouts have 16 HP, thereabouts. Oh my god. Okay. Options. Options. This scout is next. So. That actually seems like more fun. But if we go down, then we have no recourse for keeping our concentration. So. Please be dead. And we'll move in their general direction. This is exactly why we save a couple of points of lay on hands. Just for stabilizing. Right, uh, you're pretty close. Heat metal, I don't think is going to do us any good. Roll 5d8. They have 16. 5d8 averages at 4.5 apiece. 4.5, 9, 9, 18, 18, 24, 22.5. We could sleep one of these guys, probably. That'll help, I'm sure. But these guys have such range. Thank you for missing. I really appreciate that. Um... We... Do not have sleep prepared. One whole damage. That's bad. That's why I didn't want to cast Flaming Sphere. Um, use power. Lay on hands. Last HP. Not really how I want to be having a fight. Right, well, we have no lay on hands left, so we'll go and try and get in the thick of it. We have one HP, which is not great. Eight damage there is a good time. I've not used cutting words up to this point. I kind of forgot it existed. I don't know why I thought it would be a reaction. Good. We needed that. Right. You can be dead, please. Super. Super. Is not yet oh over. my god. 
Right. Evelyn. Yeah, wounds. Yeah. Thank goodness we can finally close this gap. Or, you know, not. Did they wake up? I'm not even sure what the criteria for waking up is. Um, Maestro? No, Evelyn. Oh, you already had inspiration that we didn't spend yet, right? I assume it's not going to let us stack it. Yes, absolutely. Attack for free and smite them. You cannot defeat me. So close. Right. We are going to use a spell shield on Evelyn. 15 temporary HP. Then Evelyn. Gonna cast magic missiles. One there. Two here. A good kill, as they say. Is that what they say? Alright, we finally turned this fight around, but jeez, it was not pretty. Everybody off to attack the last guy in the bushes. No. Why was it zero plus? Oh, minus plus two proficiency, plus three dex, minus five cover is net zero. I see. Can't hide from that though, can you? All right. Apparently, no loot on the ground. Can we at least get onto the road for a long rest? Resting, resting, successfully rested. Successfully resting again before we get to where we're going. And we really went around the houses there. All right. We're here, we're healed, we're safe for a minute. We can quick save, everything is fine. Join me next time, we'll see if we can make it through this next series of encounters without getting right onto the cusp of death again. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.